Time's up. That yeah, yeah. mockingbird don't sing. Mama's going to buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring don't shine, Mama's going to buy you a, a, a diamond ring. Come on, Celia. It's time. And if that diamond ring don't shine, Oh, baby, I promise I'll come back. I promise. Mama's going to buy you. Mama's going to buy you. Mama's going to buy you. Nothing. She wasn't going to buy me nothing. Because she wasn't coming back. Because she never planned on coming back. That's it. That's what happened. No, no, no. That wasn't what happened. Now, you listen to me, child. I ain't giving you away because your poor mama ain't in love with you. I'm giving you away because your mama's not doing too well in my head right now. Do you know what I'm saying? And I know you're going to be much better without me because you're going to live nice family with nice people and things just the way that I want you to and everything's gonna be just fine. Now you hear me Jeanette? You be a good girl because I ain't gonna be as crazy as me. I can promise you that. Now get going. <sighs> Heck, she could have been anybody. I don't know. That's the mystery. I'm not really sure what happened. But in high school, I found out my mother is from Argentina, so I'm Argentinian. She got sick, mental problems, you know, hospital shrinks, crazy people, so she couldn't take care of me. So what did she do? Hi, welcome to Jewish Child Care. You here to pick up Jeanette? Well, here she is. Oh. Pretty girl, oh Jeanette, oh, who's gonna eat potato pancakes with applesauce, I say Jeanette, oh, you're gonna come live with us Jeanette and we're gonna take good care of you. So, I went to live with the Pharaohs on Seaford, Long Island, a nice Jewish family. I had a mother named Joyce, a father named Saul, and two older sisters, Amy and Nancy. Who knew? As far as I was concerned, they were my family. They grew me up. They tucked me in at night, changed all my dirty diapers, fed me chopped liver, and bought me presents for every holiday. And when I turned five, I knew I was born lucky, because I got the best present of all. Jeanette, boy, do you look pretty. How are you doing today? Good. Do you know who I am? No. My name is Barbara Horowitz, and I am going to be your social worker. Do you know what that is? That means that we're going to talk about stuff, life stuff. Anything you want to talk about, and we'll talk about it. How does that sound? All right. Well, today I have something very special to tell you. Next week, you and I are going to meet your real brother, Patrick. How does that sound? Patrick? And then you and Patrick are going to live with your real mommy in Argentina, huh? Mom? Yes, honey. Aren't you my real mommy? Not your real mommy, honey. I'm your foster mommy. Well, who's my real mommy? She lives in Argentina, Jeanette. Well, what's that? That's a place very far away from here. It's where your real mommy lives. Okay, let's take a little breather here. 
Here I am. I'm five years old. Just a week from my sixth birthday. I didn't know what to make of all this. Because up to this point of my life, I thought the pharaohs were my real family. Why not? We did family things together. You know, shopping on Thursdays, after dinner on Tuesdays, R-rated movies on Sundays. And the Sefer Jewish Center every Saturday like clockwork. But if this wasn't all real, was I real? And your real name is Jeanette Cox. Jeanette Cox? Who the heck is that? I didn't know her and I didn't want to know her. So after a week later of nightmares, this bar lady shows up again. And I knew at that moment, my life would never be the same. There was my brother. We were like twins. Oh my god, they look identical. They do look like brother and sister. Look, everyone was having a conniption but me. I was suddenly a stranger in a stranger's house. They have the same noses, too. Look. That's my real brother? Yes, Jeanette. You both came from the same mommy. The same mommy? I looked around me. I wanted to yell, but I couldn't speak. I wanted to scream. Hello! What's going on here? But I couldn't move. I wanted to run, but I couldn't hide. I wanted to... But I was just a kid. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jeanette. Happy birthday to you. Now make a wish, Jeanette. Blow out all your candles. I wish I could stay. How come other kids got to stay in the same family? That's not fair. Hey, Jeanette, where'd you get those dirty clothes from your dirty sisters? Hey, you're just jealous because your mommy doesn't let you wear dirty clothes with holes in them. Jeanette, you get up here right now. Ah, I was just bicycling. What is this? My name. What is it doing on my floor? I was coloring. Coloring your name on my floor? Ah, I didn't mean it. Now you listen. You're gonna shine this floor like there's no tomorrow. Do you hear me? Yeah! Now let me hear you say it. I'm gonna shine this floor like there's no tomorrow. I'm gonna shine this floor like there's no tomorrow. I'm gonna shine this floor like there's no tomorrow? You know the drill. When I call your number, step forward. You understand? Number one, step forward. Turn to your right. Face forward. Turn to your left. Okay, so where were you last night? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. No. Weren't you at the Kapitowskis? No, I didn't want to. You didn't want to. Stay there. So you decided to run away? Why would you do a stupid thing like that? Because they're not my family. Well, let me tell you something, kid. You really have no choice here. This is a good family. They're going to take good care of you. There's no reason to run. Oh, yeah? Well, how do I know that? Because they're going to love you, kid. Oh, yeah? Well, how do I know they're not going to give me up like the last one or the one before that? You know, if nobody can take care of me, I'll take care of myself. Please 
know that kid, but you're going to have to trust me on this one. You're going to have to trust them and be strong. But I don't want to leave the Farrells because I love them. But they can't take care of you anymore. You're being given a second chance. I was bad, that's why. No, you weren't. They didn't fit. Well, I fit! Let me tell you something, kid. Life doesn't always fit the way you want it to. You have a good thing here. You want to live on the street like a punk, or do you want to live in a nice house with a nice family? It's up to you. Now, do you think you can go back to the Kapitowskis and not run away? Because I don't want to have to lock you up. You know, you're a good kid. You got your whole life to look forward to. Do I have a choice? Trust me, kid. You're going to be okay. Fine. I'll write him. 